Hello again, welcome to Smart Depot. Today's our tips and tricks and it's very interesting. My name is Ty, I'll be taking you on this one. Um, what are we talking about today? How you can back up and restore your WhatsApp full, I mean full backup without internet, without root, without recovery, without anything. You just you just do it and it's so simple. So how do you do that? Uh, this is important because if I knew, if I have known this thing, you know, years back, I would have maintained the same WhatsApp have chat on every phone because a whole lot of phones have changed the same chat the same media everything you can maintain it and what actually inspired me i was working on a phone that i have to you know back up the whatsapp through the internet and it is about two gig i mean who uses two gigs of data for whatsapp data you know uh, it was about two gig and the wi-fi was so slow so i had to find a trick so let me share with you so first you open whatsapp and it's interesting go to your setting and the first thing you got to do is you're going to do your backup so go to chat and um, chat backup uh, whatever um you do we probably should off the internet but because i said only on wi-fi backup over wi-fi or cellular uh you might want to say only wi-fi because we have our data on and internet so you're going to hit backup and let's start the backup so i have about 46 mb of data to back up so make sure that your backup gets to 100%. If you see there's local, 7 p.m., Google Drive, never. I mean, I had Google Drive backup on other devices, not this one. But sometimes it can be complicated, so you have to do it yourself, do it locally, and have your backup yourself. Uh, it's more reliable most times, you know, when you think you're backing up or whatever to access over cellular. No, so we've backed up our WhatsApp. If you look here, you see 707, which is like the time. So we're going to go out now from WhatsApp and... Um, and uh, okay, let me show us where we are, our chats, the face of our chats, you see the way it is now. So we're going to uh, look at that the next time we we talk about that. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go to our file explorer. I'm using my explorer. We're going to go to that WhatsApp folder. I'm going to go to that WhatsApp folder. This should happen if you're transferring for to any other uh, new device so make sure you have this you know these are your media the whatever you have these are your databases this is the current backup it just backs up you know it's encrypted and these are the backup folder it used to be here but they have now moved to a new database folder right now so uh, what you need to do you need to copy all of this so i'm going to copy it um uh, maybe copy to your pc to your usb to wherever that will be saved so let me drop it in tbr uh, just drop it somewhere else and then um, make sure we're going to create a new scenario a new scenario of installation of whatsapp here in this phone which is applicable one on the phone so what we're going to do we're going to uninstall our whatsapp uh, that's what we're going to do we've copied it we're going to uninstall our whatsapp now um yeah where's our whatsapp come on okay um this is whatsapp uninstalled okay WhatsApp is done on installing and then we're going to go to our file explorer and um, we're going to go to the backup of the WhatsApp folder, which is here. This is the root of the WhatsApp folder. We're going to delete it. So this gives us a new scenario that we are installing a brand new WhatsApp. So I'm not going to, you know, take you to Play Store to download that. I already have that extracted with APK extractor. So I'm going to do is install WhatsApp and this will be a kind of fresh installation. You've installed WhatsApp. There is no there is no um, backup or data in your phone. So you got to make sure you install WhatsApp first for this one. You just install the WhatsApp first. Then before you now return the folder, because in some cases, the installation might, you know, uh, do some things on their WhatsApp. But because we are now on Android 6 or Android 7, it won't happen because you have to give it permission before it can overwrite whatever you have. So once WhatsApp is done installing, installing we're going to copy our folder and bring it back to the destination so let's say done have whatsapp okay let's go back to where our folder is and um we're going to return whatsapp to the root folder in your phone or your sd card depending on where is your default root folder so we'll go back here we'll copy this whatsapp and this is the root folder we drop it in the root folder so do this in the background so you see now there's no whatsapp here so we're going to drop it in the root folder 
so that there'll be WhatsApp here. So when you install WhatsApp now, it will, it's going to use what you have here. It's going to go back and check whatever you have here and be able to, okay, we have our WhatsApp folder right now. So that's that. So now we're going to go back to WhatsApp and try to restore our WhatsApp back. So that's it. Agree and continue. It's that simple. And um, okay, continue. Give it access to. Look, this is important. You have to give this access so that it will be able to check out um, the you know media. Check whether you have a backup, and then you put in your process, the normal WhatsApp you know verification process. Um, and then you just wait, go through the WhatsApp processes, and continue. This will make it auto verify, and stuff like that. So that's just about that depending on how quick the internet or network or whatever service is this won't take some time okay it's already verifying so that's that now it's gonna start um looking for backup so this is interesting it's gonna start looking for backup so depending if you if you've done backup before with your with your um let's say wifi um or your data you've done back up to your google account you might want to off your data at this point you might just want to off your data at this point but now if 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 you off your data it will read only the one in inside your phone but if you have your data on it will compare uh, the one in the internet or or the one in your google drive or whatever you backed it up so restore your messages and media from your phone's internal storage if you don't restore now you won't be able to restore later so you see now that's what 6 mb restoration that's what you have to do so we just gotta click restore and without using the internet now we're gonna have our whatsapp back isn't that interesting a simple trick anyway very very simple trick Okay, it's restoring message for one percent. Might still take some time, uh, but we uh, we're gonna be watching it. Okay, that's it. I have a uh, forty-five thousand six hundred ten messages to restore. Now, the importance of this thing is that you can actually keep your backup because it's so painful. There are a whole lot of important information that have been sent across to me, screenshot pictures, some things that actually used to work that have been sent to me through WhatsApp, and because I you know sweep from phone to phone, that that I get to lose some you know that. So you can actually have the power of doing your WhatsApp backup all in yourself and do it locally and copy it out to PC, and when you want to move to another system you just bring it in and just use the step to bring it back so when you click next you just bring out your name and then try to get your picture back and whatever to start initializing and then that will be it okay the okay and there we have it the way we left it up the way it is you go back your chat every media you go back to your setting go to whatsapp settings chats whatever you have is the way it is and that is just that for today so just hit that <laughs> like button the subscribe button and follow us on instagram twitter to be getting simple tips and tricks that could make your life so easier i mean this is so important because if i've known this trick i could have just kept all the history of my whatsapp no matter the phone has switched once it's android and once you can copy and paste in the phone then you're good to go so i'll see you next time take care